Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we are going to model a faucet. I'm going to see how quickly you can do this. Not, not rush through it, but just see how quick we can go through the steps. The big part of something like this is breaking the thing down into modelable chunks. So I want to do a quick breakdown of this, this particular image, tell you how I would go about modeling it, and then try to put it together fairly quickly. Let's hop in. All right, so what I tend to do when I start looking at something like this is I break it down into modelable chunks. So when I look at this, I wouldn't go in and try to model this all as one piece. I would try to break it down into smaller pieces. So in this case, uh, this base right here would be one piece. Uh, this section coming up would be a second intersected by a third. On the end of that, we have a fourth piece. The neck that goes up and curves over would be a fifth piece, and then the head would be the sixth piece. So let's let's just model that. I'm I am going to do this fairly. This is not a to scale image, anything like that. So I'm just going to model beside this. Um, I'm not going to take strict measurements off or anything like that. But um, let's get that base in there real quick. So the base looks like it's a rectangle about that big and then it's rounded over at the end so I'm just gonna put a circle and a circle and then just come through with an eraser I'm going to pull that up a little bit actually undo I'm gonna select those edges and I'm gonna weld them then I'm gonna pull it up slightly offset bring it in a little bit and then I will push that up again and I'm gonna call that my base and put it in its own group and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this next piece on top of it. I want that piece to set right in the middle here. So I'm gonna grab a circle, I'm gonna go to the middle point, start pulling down. Uh, I can line that up with the other edge over here. So I'll bring that across so it hits that middle. And then, there we go. And that circle's gonna go all the way out like that. Um, for the profile, what I generally do is something like this. So I draw a rectangle coming up aligning with the middle of that that circle and then I will draw my rect my my shape on top of this so I, it looks like I got two bump bump then it goes up straight bump and then I have a taper so I'm gonna do something like this I'm gonna come in here a little bit and this is gonna be the body of that and we'll come right here we'll do a quick circle like this and then all I need is this piece so I'll just take that piece I get straight down modifier key to put that up once right there and then we're going to take that again and we're going to bring that up to about there at which point this will kind of angle up like that gives me that shape like that um, and I'm, I'm going kind of quick, but I can come through here and I can round this corner off a little bit. That's probably more how that's going to look. Um, looks good. All right, I'm going to take my circle. I'm going to use follow me. And there we go. I'm going to triple click that. Make it a new group. Uh, oops. Come in here. I don't need that. I don't need the circle underneath there anymore. All right, so there's that base piece. This piece coming out, what I want to do is I want to make that. Actually, here, let's, let's, let me undo that. Let me go grab that circle right there, copy it. Now I can delete it. Now I'll come out here and paste that. I actually was saying I want a circle just slightly smaller than this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to inset it, just, just use offset, just push it off just a little bit like that. And then I will take that, we'll rotate that 90 degrees. We'll grab it by the middle. We'll take the middle of that and we'll line it up with the middle of this. There we go. And then uh, we'll just drop it down a bit. I'm realizing right now as I'm doing this, that I, I made this a little bit shorter than I wanted. That's okay because it's easy to come in here, grab this, and we'll just stretch that up a little bit. That gives a little more space for this, which makes a little more sense. All right, I'm going to do the same same exact thing I did before. I will take this out, draw it straight up. Again, I'm just getting a rectangle, a surface to draw my profile on. 
and I just wanna draw something along these lines. So what this looks like, what we got happening is this comes out like this to, I don't know, about there. And then maybe we go, uh, it's kind of hard. Shiny stuff especially can be kind of difficult to see exactly how this works, but it looks like kind of got these uh, stepping domey shapes, a technical term right there. Apologize if that's over your head. Uh, but we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna start, uh, this one's gonna come out a little bit further. It's gonna come like this, come down. This one's gonna come out to about here, step down, and then this one's gonna be about here. Whoop, it went off axis, that's why that, that line got weird. Well, that's, there's your problem. All right, I was not paying attention to my, uh, my number, or my colors as I was going across, and I wandered off axis there. All right, at the end, the very end, I do want to have this uh, little stem sticking out. The handle will, will tie into that. So that's about what we want there. And then I just have to put some curves on here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use an arc, and I'm going to just kind of, something like this. Actually, that one will go kind of further down, almost, almost to here. And then what I didn't do is I didn't take this one back. Do that here. That one, does that one step up too? A little bit. So actually what happens is this kind of returns a little bit and then goes like this. Something like that. All right. Along those lines. Go cool. and I'll take this again. And then we will follow me with this. We got kind of our, there's our, our shape. And I can fine tune a little bit here too, because I can grab like this geometry and I can say, all right, let's let's stretch that. Let's scale that out a little bit. I like to do this because I, li I like, it's kind of like sculpting, you know? So if I want to grab maybe just this part and scale that and maybe drag that out a little bit more, I can play with those, those shapes. And then what I want to do down here, I'm going to, Close that and then just drag that in like that. Perfect. I'm going to triple click, make that into a new group. Um, and then I'm going to real quick, uh, we're going to throw together this piece right here. I could probably do this actually on here. Watch this. I could just I'm gonna drag a line straight down and then I'm going to kind of draw my profile here. That. And then I'm going to draw a full circle right here. Uh, when I'm drawing stuff like this, I will draw it a little bit of ways because then I can always drag it and drag it back down where I want it. Like that. All right, that's going to then go up, out, up, move it in, up, back out, up, back in. And then I'm going to same thing. I'm going to come up here. This handle goes out like this, this handle goes out like this. And then I can use arcs to kind of just close a lot of that up. So we come back to here. And then I can also use arcs for my round, for my roundness out there. All right, so some along those lines. Then that whole thing then would just be traced around a circle. The circle I just drag right down here, grab that, just say follow me, click there, and then I'll triple click, make that a group. And then I will grab it right by that piece. That will go right into the middle of this circle right here. Turns transparent so it's real easy to Line that up where it goes, and then slide it back in. All right, last two pieces. This one's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna turn on uh, my, oops. I'm gonna turn, go to view, 
show my hidden geometry temporarily. That's going to make it easier to find the center right here. If I draw a line from here to here, the middle of that edge is then the center. So I can just say, I'm going to draw an edge like that. I'm going to go straight up, straight out, and then straight down. And then I will create an arc from here to here. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then uh, I'm going to triple click. Actually, well, I'll do a group select because I don't want to. I don't want this edge down here. But I'll grab those, right click, and say weld edges. Get rid of these edges down here. Come here and draw a circle, exactly that bigish. I'm gonna grab that. One more, not one more. Another. Follow me. It's gonna bring that tube up and around. Um, see, our our whole thing is a little chunky, a little little wide, but. Uh, that's okay. Right, I can turn off my hidden edges too. I don't need those uh, hidden geometry anymore. Uh, and then the last piece I'm going to have here is going to be uh, this piece here. And I'm going to do the same thing. This doesn't quite hit perfectly flat, so I'm going to I'm going to have to exaggerate a little bit. But I'm going to have a piece that comes out like this. comes in a little bit and then up hereabouts. We'll have a piece that comes like this. And then that and that's that's all that's all there is to it. Um, I'm not gonna get all the detail I want into uh, The head. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, um, just because of the time we're working with here, but I'll I'll go ahead and just do something like this. So I'll have a, you know, I, I, the geometry of the head will be there, but uh, I'm not going to put the little holes and such in there. Just because I'm making a quick quick version here. So I'm gonna drop a circle. I'm gonna hit my up arrow to make it flat. Pull it out again. Same thing. Select. Uh, a follow me, hit that here, grab that, triple click, make that into a new group, and grab it right by the center so I can come across here. This is not a circle because it's a follow me, it's an extruded shape, but I can always reference the two edges like that and that will get me the very middle. Right, I'm going to turn upside down then, same thing's going to happen here, I don't have that middle edge, I'm going to go to one corner, another corner, pull that across, go. And drop it. There we go. Oop. Oops. Too much deleting. Get rid of that edge. We don't need that edge. All right. But there we go. And then I can get rid of these circles over here. I can triple click. I can grab all of these pieces. Make that into. Oops. What piece didn't I? Oh, this was not a separate group. Make that into its own group. Now I could grab all of these. Make that into a new group itself. And there we go. There is there is our our quick faucet uh, based on just an image. All right, so we weren't, this is this is by no means like uh, working off of machining drawings where I'm within a millimeter accuracy. I don't, I don't know what my accuracy was at all, but what I got was a faucet in, what, about a little over 10 minutes, uh, right off of a photo, and that could very well go into my model and represent uh, that faucet uh, that the customer wants specifically and I can't find on 3D Warehouse, something like that. So not intended to be fabrication ready. I wouldn't want to use this to create drawings to send to a machine shop, anything like that, but uh, it's enough in a quick amount of time to get that geometry where it's gonna, I mean, no arguing, that's a faucet, right? I mean, that's, that's what that thing is. Uh, and it looks like the one in there, if I put a little gold on there. Uh, hopefully that uh, that helps and uh, you learn some new tricks there. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Are there models like this that you can think of that you're not quite sure how to break down and how to model? Uh, let us know that in the comments. Or if you have another idea that you think would make a good video, something we don't do regularly, let us know that too. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when there's quite something you want to see. Thank you.